What's up everybody? How you doing? Back with Bo. Yeah, man. So here's a weird topic. Maybe you have some extra insight, but uh, I was kind of trying to describe to someone who I was riding with the other day and they're riding with their back hunched over and I just know the feeling of that you can't drive the same amount of power into your turns as soon as your back is hunched. And I, you know, I just could not explain really why it doesn't work. And then I started thinking about it and was thinking, okay, maybe like power squatters. You would never see them with an arched back all of a sudden i mean just to stand there and try to imagine how much weight you could push up like this but if you hunch your back over it all all of a sudden you're going to only get a fraction of that power and probably hurt your back but uh, for snowboarding you probably won't hurt your back but you can't drive that same amount of pressure and power into the edge and it just doesn't work the same so i don't know do you got any th thoughts of that because obviously working with top athletes and stuff when they're driving up a uh, up a big jump or a half pipe wall it's a very specific alignment with the back even if they might be twisted before rotation or anything the spine is doing something specific and that's the key ryan you just said it. it's the spine so guys think about when you're on your edge you want to push your spine you want to push your hips forward on your toe edge and get the spine over the edge if my back is rolled look where my spine is pointing out into the snow and then that's causing me to do what skid but if i hit my toe side and i push my hips forward from the back of my knee to the top of my shoulder is straight and i'm putting all that force directly over my toe edge same thing with heel edge drop your ass sit your spine back and get it right over the heel edge to lock the edge and hold it yep and once you can make those type of turns then you know doing some of the fancy lay down stuff and even when i do a switch stance toe side carve off and you will see me maybe get a little lazy and hunch over towards the snow more than i should rather than full knees bent and stuff but uh yeah let's just make some nice clean turns showing you know what let's start with some ugly shit <laughs> punch that back as much as you can let's do it i'm not i'm not backing it that looked too good <laughs> So there's your random carving tip today. Actually thinking about your line, spinal alignment and uh, with your hips and generating power from that. And something Bo just mentioned from the, on the lift. Speed camouflage is poor technique. Posture, stack, alignment is everything. Yeah, so actually slow it down and you can really start to feel when your spine is delivering power, helping deliver power to your turns. Or when, you know, if you're going too fast, it's gonna be tough to find that feeling that we can generate exactly. by you know having our spine deliver extra power so there you hey, go. hey thank you for joining Ryan, me as always brother thank you for showing me around bail too you got it anytime come we're, see us we're gonna go check out a little us open stuff right now right on he's coaching some people let's do it let's get in there yeah hey thank you guys for watching happy shredding and kapla <laughs>